Yeah, you're welcome. I have, I have 20 minutes. Just go. So tell me yep. who I am and yep. just to start mocking. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Alex. Um, so it looks like we've got um, some time today, and I wanted to um, thank you for taking this time. And let's see kind of where you're at and why you decided to get on this call today. Okay. What's up? So how are things going in how are things going in your day, to be honest? How, how's your day going? Oh, well, thanks for asking. Um, so far, it's been pretty good. You know, I had a, had a couple of deals. Um, you know, I closed a couple of new clients, which is great in personal training, right? I'm sorry, personal coaching. And, um, you know, I'm really excited about that. That's going to be another, you know, a couple of thousand dollars coming in. So awesome. Um, you know, my, um, oh, let's see. I mean, everything's going really good. My dog's really good. I took him a daycare today. He had such a great time. It was fantastic. Um, this week, my wife and I, um, we're doing um, professional development together for the entire weekend in training, which is awesome. I love doing that with her. So honestly, mm. life, life is pretty good. Seriously, I'm, I'm loving life. Life. When people ask me, how is life right now? Seriously, like I can authentically say it's like fucking fantastic. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is great to hear. Yeah. Um, and I'm, that's exciting. A lot of couples can't work together. So it's exciting that you guys can do professional development together um so yeah. i think that's that's like a blessing um totally. so why are you looking for personal coaching um so well i mean i'm doing it already right as i said before but um you know what i'm looking for is i'm looking for a way to like scale my business right i'm looking for a way okay. And maybe even start like another business. I mean, seriously, coaching is coaching, right? I mean, if you yeah. got it, you got it, right? Like why be limited to like one industry or like one field? That's kind of silly, right? To limit yourself. Yes. So I'm always looking at like other opportunities that are out there where I could apply my skills, help more people and make more money. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Okay, that makes sense. You want to ramp up. You're already doing well. You just want to ramp up and, and do more and be better. Totally. Kind of what, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So how, how does that look for you? If what's the end goal there, how for you to know you've accomplished that goal, what does that look like to you? Um, do you mean like when I die <laughs> or like what time frame are you mentioning? <laughs> okay, what you just said a, is very vague. Very, so I, I don't know what you mean. Um, five years from now, where would you like to be and and how would your life look with your wife and your dog and your profession your career there you go that's a great fucking question let's look so five years i already sure to have a five-year plan so in five years right my wife and i are gonna live in a nice big fucking house not too big you know four bedrooms we're in california so it's very expensive you know we have a nice big house i'm gonna have a huge yard for my dog and you know, he loves to run around you know he's like he's fuck i love my dog he's awesome um you know, I'm going to have at least, you know, probably at, at, by then, I want to have at least four coaching businesses. You know, I'll have a lot of partners that do it with me. And, you know, we'll be in industries like, um, you know, like personal coaching, which I do already. Um, I'll do things maybe like, I don't know, like sales training is also really important. It's very similar in the coaching world. Um, also things like, um, I don't know, like maybe like small business owners are really good. Um, one thing I'm really good at too, and I kind of like fell upon this accidentally, is creating like a passive income business. You know, like how to design, structure, and organize a business to be 100% automated. And like I got lucky with that, but I already have a couple of them. Like you know, they're small, not they don't make that much money, like a thousand dollars a month each, whatever. But like they work, you know. And I'm like, man, I could probably make a business out of this someday. So you know, having all these opportunities, you know, so obviously I'd be doing very well financially, probably over fifty, hundred thousand dollars a month, right? I'd be helping out a lot of people, you know, meaning like they're blowing up their businesses, whatever they're doing, whatever I'm coaching them on, or their sales is improving and escalating, you know. So I'm doing a service for like, you know, hundred thousand, you know, like a lot of people, right? And yeah. you know, life life is good. Like I'm happy, you know, I'm fulfilled. I started a nonprofit for people that are maybe like low, you know, like low income. And honestly, one of my passions in life is I want to have for them or offer for them, I should say, like kind of like a high performance, you know, nonprofit organization. So what I would do is I would find people that honestly are like from the slums, right? People that are from poor communities and they can't afford college. 
They can't afford higher education, really, like university. And I'll come in and do, I don't know, like a 30-day, maybe 30, maybe like, maybe like a weekend, yeah, like a weekend course with them to teach them, like, my skills, to teach them, like, how to sell, to teach them how to be effective, right? Because I think sales is, like, the best skill set and gift you can give any human being in this world when they're young. Teach them how to sell and how to sell well. They'll be set for life. There's always jobs in sales, right? Everywhere. Every company has to move their products, period. Every service company, too, needs to sell shit. I think it's fantastic and it's great, and no one does it. So I'm going to be the one that does it, and I'm going to do that starting in five years. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, what you just said is amazing. Um, you would be changing, changing lives, well, generationally for these people. Yeah, right? Totally. Uh, wow. And your enthusiasm, you are obviously one that could accomplish this. Um, what I'm hearing is you have a lot of goals and they're in a lot of different areas and they're all, um, they're all exciting, Alex. Like the passive income, that's a, that's yeah. a big thing for so many people. Um, yeah. But I don't think like me personally, I wouldn't know a lot about that. So that would be exciting. Yeah to listen to right to and see that would that's an amazing one um yeah so to to get all of that within five years um it sounds like that's a lot you're doing a lot um are you at all feeling scattered trying to get all of that accomplished or are you feeling like you've got all of that under control in terms of different goals and taking a step forward in each of those um, the businesses wise, the coaching ones, I already have a guide. I already have a website done for all of them. I already have flyers. I already have testimonials. I've been playing with it already the last couple of months. So it's already like in motion. Um, probably the only thing I really don't have figured out yet, honestly, is like the nonprofit, right? I haven't done that before. So I'm not mm -hmm. sure how that structures or how that works. But then also, right, like I really definitely need a partner or someone that can help me scale my businesses because mm -hmm. ultimately, right, in coaching to make that passive, I'd have to delegate and automate everything out. So like all the coach, I'd have to probably train coaches to be like me and then have them do the coaching, right? I have to delegate and automate all the systems, payments, scheduling, everything out so I could be removed from it, have it make money off it each month. So ultimately, probably like, I don't know, 10 years from now, after five years of building it hardcore, like I'll be done. You know, I'll, be, I'll be 45. I'll be making six, seven figures a month easy you know, four or five hardcore businesses, all passive. And honestly, with that time in my life, I want to focus on like vacationing and traveling, and just like enjoying life, you know? And I know that in the background, my businesses are helping out hundreds and thousands of people every day, every month, every year without me. And I get to be yes. a part of that because I created them. Wow. Um, <laughs> you leave me speechless because your goals are, um, huge. And like I said, they're just going to impact so many people. Um, yeah. wow. Okay. So how, so you would need to get you to where you want to be, which, um, I now want to see you achieve all that. You need coaches. You need to be able to delegate to some coaches. Yeah. So, um, do you feel like, you know, what exactly does that help look like to you? Um, just in terms of hire, get, figuring out who to hire, what, what would help you the most in terms of getting that nonprofit up and going and finding these coaches? How, how could, what kind of help could you use? Yeah, I mean, you know, I definitely would want like a network of people, right? And honestly, like they don't have to be even trained. Like, I could train people to be like me. I've done it already. It's not hard, right, for me mm -hmm. personally. So I just okay. need to find, like, I, I just need to find, like, the right people, right? So I don't know. Maybe someone that's able to, like, headhunt or, you know, market or advertise on Facebook, whatever. Like, hey, we're looking for, like, you know, driven people that are hardworking, have sales experience, are coachable, and want to learn, like, a super high-performance way of coaching to work with someone where they could make six figures plus a year. And all they're doing is just coaching people conversations 
mastermind mm -hmm. classes. So definitely maybe someone that can help me with like a funnel or a lead generation source, something like that, definitely would be great for me. Because that would okay. be something else I'm now delegating to you to take care of. I don't have to worry about it. I just focus on the training and the coaching, which is what I care about the most. Right. Which in, to be honest, after what I heard today, you're amazing at it. So that makes sense. Um, yeah. So, all right. Well, um, are you, do you have everything else under control in terms of you want to start putting some time into this nonprofit now? Is it, what is your timeline for doing this kind of work and finding these people? What's your deadline for that in your, in your goals? Um, I probably, so right now this year, I'm really focusing on scaling my coaching businesses, like, you know, getting clients, right. Building the brand, all that kind of jazz, social media, you know, like, like all, all the fun stuff, all the kids do on also, uh, like the millennials, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm, I'm too old for, I'm too old for that kid. Right. But, um, you know, I think probably the nonprofit, honestly, is a couple of years away only because I want to spend time now building the businesses, right? Building the brand, building the reputation, right? Building. Oh, Alex, you're breaking. As oh, a nonprofit, I, that's a Sorry, I just lost you for a little bit. You're breaking up. Oh, you hear me? Now, a little bit. I'm gonna be in the right now. That's okay. Can, can you hear me now? <laughs> now I can. There you are. Okay, great. There we go. I was, I was probably in a dead spot. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. 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 So look. So listen. Like in my future, right? I want to focus probably the next couple of years, especially because I'm the one driving this bus. Like literally, it's all me. Now I have one partner, and that's pretty much it. He takes care of all my websites, graphics, social media, funneling. He's amazing. He does all that stuff. I need more people like him, right? People I could partner with, people I trust that are very reliable, yes. very hardworking, like me. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you right now. It is very hard and challenging. Seriously, I run a business with a few, one of my businesses I run, my coaching was with a few partners of mine. Okay, they can't keep up with me. They seriously can't. They've told me that in words. Alex, slow the fuck down. You're moving way too fast. We can't, like, we get lost in what you're designing and building for us because you right. are so fucking fast. We can't keep up. But I'm like, well, then sucks for you because I'm fucking moving here. Yeah, you, you can't keep up. And let me do yeah. my thing. I'll fill you. I'll fill you in with the holes when I'm done, so you know what's going on. But listen, here's the craziest part, right? They tell me to slow down. I'm like, no, you do you. <laughs> I'm going to do me, me. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side, you know, and when I'm making you feel the rich, you'll thank me later. Okay. Yes. Great. Right. And you, you see where you're going. You, you have the, the clear vision and you're on your way. Um, oh yeah. Tr trust me. About three months ago, I created all this in my head already. How the next five or 10 years is going to look like, seriously, all I've been doing is just putting the pieces in reality to make it happen. That's all I've been doing. And everything I see, as crazy as it sounds, no bullshit has been coming together exactly as I said it would three months ago. Oh my God. I love it. Um, yeah. Very cool. Does your wife, does she see it like you do? She's excited for you. She's supportive. Or does she feel like you're spread too thin? Oh my God. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? You insane <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Seriously, she wants me to have a day job because it's reliable. It's, it's secure. It's set hours where you're working. Yeah, nonstop. seriously, yeah. seriously. Yeah, she I wants me it. to be a fucking <laughs> loan officer that makes a hundred grand a year in an office with a ceiling of income, right? And like slave over what I consider as chump change because I can make that in my fucking sleep. No yeah. work or effort yeah. required. So look, <laughs> the way that she has it, that's my life. But what she does, and look, she told me, she's like, look, Alex, you want to do those other things? Whatever, man. Do them on your own time. Okay, just make fucking money so we can have a good life. And don't talk to me about it, is what she said. I said, okay, no problem. Okay, look, I told her, no bullshit. I'm like, look, in May of this year, which is my 36th birthday, okay, I will be making at least $10,000 a month in passive income. And when I do that, I'm going to quit my day job. 
because I've now supplanted that income with actually more money, right? And I've proven because I've already I've already had these businesses up for running, right? So they're like they're they're scaling, like they're building over yeah. time. Yeah. Right. So once I make ten thousand and it's passive and my system is solid, like I know for me for my life that like it like it's time, like I can now leave out of that job and I can focus on these businesses and whatever else I want to do. And honestly, as long as I'm making reliable money and I can show my wife the business and she sees it solid, which she will, because I'm a really good fucking persuasive person. It's always why I'm a badass in sales, right? Yes. <laughs> and, and like, she'll agree with me and she'll be like, okay, you know what? I wasn't on board before, but you know what? I like it. It makes sense. It's reliable. You know, you have partners. They're, they're fucking not calling you crazy like I am. So you know what? I like it. We'll, we'll, we'll trust it for now, right? But Alex, you fucked this up. You're going back to your day job. You're going back know, to the day job. <laughs> I already know that's what she's going to say. I fucking swear to you. Okay. But, okay, but look at the plan you have. You've got the passive covered, then you know you've got the monthly net covered to just go and attain your goals. Um, I know. Look, look, listen, I know that, but she doesn't. So when I surprise her with that shit, she's going to fucking like, I don't know, scream, jump out a window, some shit. I don't know. Yes. So I think, um, do you feel that getting some more help, some more coaching, some more will get you what you want sooner and will make it less stressful as you're going? That's a good question. The only thing I would say you say a lot of that's kind of odd is you say the word feel a lot. What does feelings have to do at all with me doing a great job in my business? Nothing. Who gives a fuck how I feel? Do you think I get up every morning and I'm like super excited to sleep 16 hour days to build this business? Fuck no. It's like, dude, go to sleep. <laughs> fuck me, man. What are you doing? You're fucking nuts. Seriously. Feelings okay. have nothing okay. to do with, seriously. Feelings okay. have nothing to do with how you perform in life. They really don't, right? Because look, all they are is a thought. It's a, it's a feeling. It's, a, it's an emotion. And here's the scariest part is that you can't control that shit. <laughs> it comes automatically. Seriously, you don't believe me? Shut That's up for true. a second and just listen to your mind go. Listen to the thoughts you have. Listen to sensations you have. You can't control that shit. You really can't. So why does it matter? Or even why even ask that question to someone? Why ask it? Yeah. No. I, because I, that, I, right? Because why ask with it? First of all, they can't control it. So why would you ask them about something they can't control? It's very right? true. Yep. Yeah. So honestly, get that out of your vocabulary. Get hey, that listen. out of it. I just there's, wrote down no feel. Yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 there's more. That's just one of them. Okay. Oh. Words like, was, you said this too, by the way, at the very beginning. Words like <laughs> hope, hope, words like try, like are you trying or am I trying or if you try? No, you don't try to do shit in life. If I say jump off a fucking bridge, how do you try to jump off a bridge, right? Either do it or you don't. <laughs> there's no trying in action. There's no trying in reality. Either do something or you don't. Remember Yoda, right? Do or do not. There is no try. Mm. He was a wise motherfucker. He knew what he yes. was talking about, right? Years oh, ago. Yes, he was. So seriously, listen. What these okay. words are, honestly, is they're conceptual words that honestly have no place in reality. They don't. Think about it. If I say jump, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to try a jump. No, you're not. You're either fucking jumping or you're not, right? There's no try in there in reality. You're either doing it or you're not. Same thing with hope. What the hell does hope mean? I don't fucking know, right? Try any word, seriously, that is only based in language. Seriously, only in language, so, right? Okay, so I need to be more concrete, obviously, in my words. Um, I mean, I would, I would say more like in reality. To use okay. my language, right? You okay. want to speak more in reality. Like, like if you say, hey, do you want to try this out? Well, what the fuck does that mean? It's either that they're going to do it or not, right? There's no trying it out. It's either they're going to invest in it or they're not. Or they're not. Yep. Right? And what I'm telling yep. you is that when you use those words in your life, which you probably do all the time because you said it like three times already in this call, just consider that what you're really doing is robbing yourself of the opportunity for whatever it is. And even worse is you're avoiding being responsible for it because think about it, right? Logically, if someone says, Hey, Shelly, did you do this? Like, did you go to the gym? Like you said you would for a month? Oh, I tried. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is that? 
Like, did you mm-hmm. go at all? <laughs> I mean, literally, like, are you trying to bullshit me? Which, by the way, most people do, right, when they say that shit, right? They don't want to, they don't want to be truthful. So they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, bullshit. They're fucking lying to you. They ain't going to try shit. Now, how do you know, right? Now, Shelly, ask me a question about my life. Like, ask me a question about anything. Business, family, whatever. Go ahead. Um, Alex, how, how is your day-to-day life? How, how is your, how are your mornings? Yeah, my mornings are great, right? I get up, I'm at, I would jump out of bed, right? I'm really excited. I have my Andrew drink. I make coffee for my wife, right? I feel my dog. Sorry, I feed, not feel. I feed my dog, right? <laughs> you know, I take him a go poop every morning and he likes to stare at me while he does it and it freaks me the fuck out. You know, like <laughs> that's my morning. And like, it's fantastic, right? I then leave my door. I say goodbye to my wife, give her a kiss, right? Make sure she has breakfast, right? Give her a supplement because I'm a loving husband, right? I then get in my car. I go to my office, right? I have a nice setup. It's quiet. My wife is in there, so it's very quiet. And then I get to work, right? I'm doing my thing. Honestly, all day is insane. Like all day, I'm like talking to people on Facebook, websites, coaching, Discord, da da. And like, I fucking love it. Like, I'm, I live for this shit. Listen to my voice right now. It gets me excited, right? I fucking love it. I've made, I don't even know, over the last month, probably hundreds of acquaintances. Hundreds. There are people that love talking to me because when I talk to them, I light them up. Like, they're fucking excited to talk to me because I'm alive. I'm not a fucking automaton robot who sounds like this. Fuck that bullshit. (laughs) YOLO, okay? You have one fucking life. Live it. And I know what it looks like, you know? Yeah. And you're real. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you know what it is to say real? Thank you. That's actually a great word, but that's also very conceptual. Here's a okay. better word for you. I am authentic. Oh. Yeah. Honest. I'm authentic. I'm not phony. Well, like, like, I'm not phony, right? Like, yeah. I'm real. Like, when I tell you something, that I could do something, better fucking believe it. I could fucking do it. Like, no shit. I tell you that my results in life are insane. You don't believe me? Fantastic. Get ready to have your fucking messenger blown the fuck up. With testimonials, fucking statements, stock trades. I deliver proof of fucking everything I say. I got back it up every time. Because that's how I live my life. I'm authentic. I don't speak out of my ass. I speak from performance. I speak from results. And yeah, my results seriously are fucking insane. Okay, listen. The last three days, when everyone and their mother lost a lot of money in the cryptocurrency market. Okay, I created these fucking algorithms to trade for me automatically. You know how much money they made all together? Like, they, they produced a return, an APY return, collectively, of over 1,000% in those three days. Ooh. I made a 1,000% return in three days. Do you know how long it takes your best fucking performing mutual fund in the world to give yep. you a 1,000% return? How many years do you think it is? How many decades? <laughs> Let's start there. Well, yeah, because a lot of my stuff, if, even if I can get 20%. Like, like that, that's pretty good, right? Like 20%, yeah. honestly, it's great. Right. But look, but here's what you want to get, though. It would take you 50 fucking years to get 1,000%. <laughs> I did it in three goddamn days. Think about it. That's fucking insane. Like, no, it is insane. About, right? It's exciting. Hey, look, it's... Hey, look. Yeah, it's, it's, thank you. Yeah, it's exciting, right? Listen, at my it job, my day job in real life, I'm the number one fucking closer, 40% conversion rate in one of the hardest fucking industries to sell. People who don't want what the fuck I'm selling. I'm selling debt consolidation services. I'm telling them to stop paying their credit cards. Get ready for a fucking creditor calls. Get ready for your, your credit score going to the shitter. Seriously, that's my fucking job. And I have a 40% close rate, double more than anyone else. 37 fucking deals last month. What the fuck? How do you do that shit? Wow. It's fucking insane, right? Yes, it is. And um, like you, you've been lighting up this message group all of a sudden every day. You know Please. why? You know why I do that? Seriously? It's a very simple answer. Take a guess. Well, to, to even strengthen yourself and to get the attention yeah. of all of us. Yes and no. So the reason why I'm actually doing it is because those chats are fucking dead. Mm. There is nothing, literally, just think about it. Like, no like, energy. Like, 
what I'm saying is like, like compare it to me, right? What I, what I bring, there's nothing there. It's fucking dead. Seriously. No one's fucking talking. Yeah. Once in a while, someone's like, yo, who's a muck? Okay. Who gives a fuck? That's, that's nothing. You're the that's first a fucking, person that's, that's really got link. me to, you're the first person that's gotten me to engage in this. And yeah. I listened to that call this morning while I was getting ready for work. Yeah. And it like kicked off my day in an amazing way. That awesome. call, listening to that mock call. Good for you. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So you are, you're shaking it up in that group. I mean, look, seriously, I'm doing it. You're right. I mean, obviously I have to be getting something out of it too, right? Otherwise yes, that's just, like, sure. you know, for, I mean, honestly, yeah. right? Listen, I have an agreement in life. This is going to sound weird, but this is my life. I have an agreement in life. My wife does too, okay? Because we do this shit in our training development that we always get more value by contributing to other people and coaching them and training them than we give. Like we always get more out of it. Now we have to mm-hmm. generate that ourselves, right? We have to like cause that. It's not natural. And I'm t- and listen, like these calls for me, seriously, man, Sherry, if like, if you, I'm sorry, is it Sherry or Shelly? Sorry. Shelly, that's okay. Shelly. Yeah, I apologize for that. So show you, right? Listen, I just started doing these calls like two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, right? I could tell you for a fact, which is fantastic, that by me doing all of these mocks, like so many, I think I've done like 20, I don't know, 25 now, whatever, in the last two weeks, right? By me doing all these mocks, listen, it has been amazing for me. Like my listening skills have like mm-hmm. exponentialized. Like seriously, like I've done, I, I've noticed it, like really, because at okay. my day job, it's so much stronger too. And I'm like, wow, this is great. You know, like my ability to listen and right. And not just listen to what you're saying, but like what's behind the words, right? What's the intention, the commitment, what's the way of being that when I say listening, that's what I mean. Cause that's what I learned. Right. I operate in the world of ontology, right? Which is the science of beingness, who you're being in life gives you what you say and do. So fuck having to memorize wrote fucking lines. This bullshit doesn't do anything for you in your performance. I want to study the high end shit the world-class stuff that applies to everything with everybody in any part of your life. I want to know that. I did that for five years on purpose so I could be masterful at that. And now I'm ready to go on my own and fucking explode in the world, right? And be a fucking force. Someone that most people in their life will never meet. (laughs) Seriously, someone like me. And what I can do and what I could create and what I could generate what I could instill in others, what I could create in others, right? Like these calls, honestly, yeah, I get a lot of that too, right? But honestly, my commitment, seriously, is, and honestly, I love you. I really do. Because you are the fulfillment of why I'm here, why, what I'm doing, right? You listen to the call. Now, let's just be real, Shelly, right? If you were a freaking alien, listen to that call, what would you have heard, right? Right? For like an hour. But here is the beauty of you and why I love you, okay? Is that you took that noise and you make, and you, t- you took it. You discovered something about your life, about yourself that gave you value. You generated that on your own. I didn't do that shit, you did. And you made that give you a great start to your day and whatever else happened was all you. And the work that I do in world-class performance training, that's how we have every conversation. We don't fucking watch videos ineffective we don't read books ineffective we do conversations that's it because in conversation you're now in the world of performance you're performing you're in action you're generating yourself you're listening you're recreating what people are saying these are all technical terms you wouldn't get yet because they're from my organization okay but like Mm -hmm. you're listening in a way we're like so this is what we say right i've been trained to listen for listen for What's important to you? What are you committed in or committed to, right? What are you actually trying to say? Like what's in the background that's actually having you say everything you're saying? Yeah, that's possible. I've been trained that way, right? And then if you want to go another level back here, this is the ultimate level, is who are you being as you're speaking to me? What does that mean, right? That's very conceptual. Are you being happy? Are you being upset? Are you being a fucking robot, right? Like, who are you <laughs> being, right? I mean, seriously. Yeah. Now, look, there's a whole, like, my organization spent 40 years, yeah, 40 fucking years, research, development, and brain science, and neuroscience. Like, they went all out. Like, 
They want to really discover like what it looked like. What was actually there for human beings as a fucking species that elevates their performance. And they went to work on it for decades. And out of that, they created coursework out of it, right? And now it's worldwide. It's really fucking powerful, right? And it works, obviously, on the fucking mm-hmm. representation of it, right? So, yeah. so part of what I do, and this is honestly, like, one thing, honestly, Shelly, I want to shake. We're really shaking the community of RCA, is that by you watching fucking videos and listening to goddamn people talk does zero for your experience of life for how you perform in life and actually no shit elevating your performance means like you get better, right? You're more effective. Your numbers yep. go up. You go yep. from 20% yep. to 80% in setting and closing. But literally nothing, zero. I promise you 40 years of science backing me up here. Zero. That shit does fucking nothing for your actual in life performance. You know why I know why? Because knowledge, I'm sorry, because There is no access to being who you are in the world through knowledge. Zero. That's studied science and fucking research, right? They're telling you that. It's impossible. Now, here's a great example of it, right? We live in a country. We live in a world, right, where information is fucking everywhere, right? Like Google, right, YouTube, right? Now, let me ask you a really silly question. Do you think that the majority of people in this country and world know how to lose weight and be thin and be lean and healthy no really i mean like if you look at like google and youtube videos you're right no they know that the basics they know they're supposed to work out more they know they're supposed to cut back the calories they absolutely know they're supposed to go walk or go to the gym yes totally right now here's the breakdown though right if you could experience life and perform in life from just knowing something then tell me, please, because no one can. Why do we have a fucking goddamn global epidemic known as obesity? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That information is everywhere. Everyone knows it. Move more, eat less, right? Be healthy. It's so obvious. It's, a, it's fucking cliche at this point. Yes. But, yeah. but why is it, though, that still... We are all relatively across the board, overweight and fat and unhealthy, and we have an epidemic here. Like, like, what is that about? How is that possible then? If knowledge gives you access to your performance in life, then why the fuck are we all fat? I mean, seriously, right? Like, think about no, it. For it's a second, a, right? No, it's a, it's a very good point. People, well, I mean, you know, those people are their own worst enemies. Um, yeah. So they know it, but they won't live it unless they yes. really... No, 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 no. Okay, no, stay with me here, right? You're close. People know it, but they can't access it. Why not? Why can't, why can't, listen, why can't someone who's fat all of a sudden start being driven, start being motivated to work out? Like, why? Why is that, why is it not possible for them to do that shit? Isn't that easy? See, you're talking to the wrong person because I'm a fitness person. So um, let me think. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. So, so, they, so, so, uh, so tell you, I'm not talking okay, about you, right? I'm talking no, about yeah, human So I'm thinking yeah. they, they, they don't put the link together within themselves. They're, they've never, like, you're making me perform right now, which is what I want to do. They've yeah. never, but see, but some of these people were previous football players when they were in high school. Like they've been at that yeah. level, but they- I don't know, I've lost oh, the connection with themselves, I guess, in that. Well, well, first of all, just to be just to be rigorous with you, when you say they've lost themselves or whatever, I have no idea what that means. Because that's okay. not based in reality. Like, what do you mean? Like they just so like listen, in reality is like this, right? They stopped working. I just, out. I just flip back to the like, hope and feel like, like they got that. Yeah. I'm 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 well, listen, don't worry about it. listen to me. Okay, just be with me. I promise you, this is where the benefit and value is for you, okay? Okay. When you are talking in reality, okay, it's listen, it's something you could see with your eyes. It's something you can hear, you can taste it, you can feel it. Okay, if you're not talking like that, consider you're speaking conceptually mm-hmm. and worse, you have lost people. Because when you're talking conceptually, like you are right now, I'm like, what are you talking about? They like they lost. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Yeah. And then guess what? 
you, there is now no connection between you and me. I'm sorry. Like you lost me. Mm-hmm. If you're yeah. trying to sell me, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm lost now. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Yeah. Right. But if you're a, it, it but makes if you sense. Say something, no. Yeah. Makes okay. Sense. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because that well, could mean I, something different to me than it does. Even if you know what I mean, that could yeah. mean completely different to me. Yes. Exactly. Makes sense. Good for good for you, right? It's very unclear. It's vague. Right? Yep. Yep. Good for you. So look. I have to go soon, right? But look, here's a couple of things you could work on, okay, as practices to have you start demonstrating these things in reality, right? Because I'm not a conceptual person. I'm a like in reality person. That's how I live my life, right? That's how I coach. So look, honestly, your way of being, honestly, I loved. Seriously, you were alive, you know, you were energetic, you were enthusiastic. Like I was having you laugh and like freaking I was saying some I was saying some outrageous shit. <laughs> seriously on purpose because i wanted to elicit a response from you and it worked and honestly happy you did what you did you were relaxed like you were intense because you were you were laughing i had you laughing that was the point so i knew you were relaxed right yeah and um you were great you know like you were asking me questions you were getting interested in my life you know you were saying some things back to me that i said were important to me you were trying to be of service it was fantastic seriously. all that stuff was great right um i'm thinking hold on like I said, so a couple of things, once again, right, was saying those kind of filler words, hope, pray, yes. you know, feel yeah. whatever. Yeah, okay. like I said, that, that just doesn't work. So get rid of that shit. Okay. Um, but let me see what else. Um, okay, so at the end of the day, you were trying to sell me what? A personal coaching program? Or a yes. I, I'll, be, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I was kind of lost. <laughs> That's why I was going in I know. Of I... <laughs> in the conversation. I was like, I'm like, do I have a business? Is she going to give me one? That's, and I, even, I, I even threw you a bone. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to make more businesses. Maybe you can help me with that. You know, <laughs> I was trying to give you something there. Thank you for assisting me through this. You're welcome. Hey, I'm here for you, right? Okay, <laughs> yes. great, great. Look, so yeah, so honestly, I mean, seriously, right? If, we, if that was a real conversation, right? And you're trying to sell me a personal, whatever, personal coaching business. I already have one or several. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, do you think it's even a good fit? Like, do I actually need you? Right, which is why I was asking if your wife was having issues with how busy you were and how stressed out you were. Like if oh, that good. was an issue, yeah. then maybe I, I was going to see if that maybe would help you. Yeah. So that's a not bad question, but there's a better one, right? Okay. Like you could have asked, you could have asked something like, Hey Alex, look, like I, Hey, I think it's fantastic, man. Like, man, you're a go-getter, right? You're, you're creating businesses. Like you're a one man, like rampage machine. You're like the dude from like X-Men. What's his name? The juggernaut. Yeah, man, you're a freaking one man machine, unstoppable. Look, dude, I like bow down to you. You're amazing. I'm uh, happy I'm talking to you, right? Like, there's a lot of things going on in your life. You know, you want to create a nonprofit, which probably I think is like so beautiful. You know, you want to help people, like really help people that cannot afford, you know, what you're doing now. And you're willing to give your life, give your time to them, go around the country, like support them for probably nothing, right? Yeah. Wow, like that's extraordinary. Who does that? Exactly. Now look, right? No, okay, don't ever say that. So, you know, don't ever say exactly. Um, eh, well, it just okay. remember listen, once again, right? You have to get this. It never fucking matters what you say. It seriously doesn't. Because listen, who you're being speaks louder than your words. Yes. For if sure. I'm being Right. If I'm being loving with you and oh my God, Shelly, that's so fit. If I'm like that, what are you going to remember after this call? What the fuck I said to you or like who I was being with you? Yeah. And how you felt when we were talking. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, look, yep. I mean, in, in the work that I do, that's one of our common sayings. Right. Is that who you're being speaks louder than what you're saying. So we that's going to work on the beingness. Listen, we, listen, when people coach me, they don't give a fuck about what I say. They don't give a shit. They don't care because it honestly doesn't matter. It really doesn't. They'll, like, they'll be like, wow, Alex, like, who to say you're being? And then I have to look, right? Because I have coaches too. I'm like, fuck, let me look. I'm like, all right, well, I was being, you know, now listen, now listen. Now here's a crazy thing, right? Imagine people like me coaching me. <laughs> That's where I live in my life. And by the way, like for real, right. I have coaches that are even better trained than I am. My wife right. has been in the business for 20 fucking years. She would kick my ass in this. She does. Seriously. Uh -huh. Wow. If you guys think, if you th guys think I'm fucking whatever at this, you should talk to my wife. She will fucking destroy everybody with how powerful she is. When she speaks, holy fuck, shut up, listen. Like, she is phenomenal. Seriously. 
you know, but this is the world that we live in, right? Like, listen, we don't want to be ordinary. So we spend our life, we give our time. And by the way, we don't work for this organization, right? We're not employees of them. A lot of it's like volunteer because once again, right, I have a commitment to get out more what I give in. So we love volunteering with them. We like doing programs with them because we get so much out of it, you know, like it's, I'm, I'm with them this weekend. My wife and I are doing a program with them for the whole weekend. It's a leadership mm-hmm. program. She's the head coach of it. I'm leading, I'm leading the PowerPoint slides. I'm also there too, because I, I like to contribute, you know? And I just want to be there with the work because I love it. It's it's effective. It fucking works, you know? You can't deny your results. Look at me, right? It fucking works. And yeah. you know, it, it's insane. You know, it's honestly insane. So look, <clears throat> I keep saying look, I don't know why. Sorry about that. So bottom <laughs> line, right? Like when you could be someone who when you're talking, now obviously I'm very excitable. Let's just be straight about it, right? I can be, no problem, right? It works yeah. in my businesses. But as you tell those Shelly, if you're listening very closely, when I'm like this, this is by the way how I sound with actual clients, FYI, right? I, I generate, literally, I make it up because I could do that shit. I generate myself as someone who's loving and caring and considerate and empathetic and excited about you and your life. Wow, Shelly, you have three businesses right now. You want to launch a fourth one? Wow, that's amazing. Who, 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 could do, who could do that? I can't do that. Wow. Have you done any training development for that? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Would you mind sharing that with me? Man, I'm, I'm in the wrong business. Shit. Cool. Thank you. No. Oh, so you're building a nonprofit. Wow, that's exciting. Wow, that's cool. Have you figured out how to do that yet? No. Oh, why not? Oh, you just don't, you just haven't done it before. Oh, no problem. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, are you looking for support with that in your businesses? Are you looking to like, I don't know, like, are you looking to like work with other people at some point or like, you know, what's your game plan? Oh, well, now I'm looking to, you know, delegate responsibility and, you know, hire people and da da da. Okay, great. Do you have someone doing that for you right now? No. Oh, okay. Well, if that was something we could do for you, like, would that work? Like, would that be of value to you? If I could help fulfill that need, so you don't have to worry about it and you can focus on your nonprofit. And what you do best, yeah, that'd be fantastic. Sweet. You just met a need. Yep. And now, and after y- that, pretty simple, right? <laughs> to close that deal. Yeah. Yeah, because you just asked all the right questions. Like, I, that's where I was struggling with closing it up, right? But I felt uh, like, um, yeah. I did feel like, let's say I offer something like that. I did feel like, I could help you because you have yeah. so many goals and you're, uh, you're going at, you know, 150 miles an hour. Um, yeah. and, tr- and everyone's just trying to keep up with you. <laughs> yeah. So, so by, by the way, I was like, I know we we're kind of like playing around and mocking a little bit, but like, but like no bullshit. So I have a serve, I have, I have a disc, I have a traffic. So I trade options like in the stock market. And yeah. um, I, have a, I have a business with three of the partners, right? They're veterans like me. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Marine Corps retired. Uh, Marine Corps veteran retired. Oh, so wow. um, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Right. And um these, these guys, these guys actually one of my one of my partners is Marine. Um the other one's Army, the other ones I think Air Force. So we're all like retired guys. Actually, one of them is still in. Um he's getting out in five years though. Um great guy. But anyway, so you know, I was just when I said that to you, like literally, I move, I talk, obviously, right? <laughs> Everything I do in my life, like seriously. I move so fucking fast. Like I have a business within 24 hours. I have a website, a funnel, a Facebook group, a flyer, a logo. They're fucking done within a day. Like that fast. I don't well, fuck around. Yeah. And I found a guy. He's real too, by the way. He's my, he's my, he's like my buddy. He, I don't know how I got fucking lucky. I found this guy fucking like, praise God. I found this guy. Actually, I'm sorry. He found me actually. And um, I fucking, I was testing him a lot. Me passed them all, and I was like, "Okay, let's work together." So this guy is like me, <laughs> like he's fanatical, he's relentless. Mm, so he he like, can keep up with you. Yeah, he That's and he awesome. does. There's he does, and honestly, it's a gift because yeah. seriously, like no one else can. <laughs> I'm yeah. dead serious. Like yeah, he get he gets you. He well, he gets me. Listen, he told me, Shelly. Seriously, he told me he wakes up every morning, excited, looking forward to talking to me. Because of the kind of ideas I'm going to have, the strategies I create, 
the business ideas I have with him, he, look, I'll, I'll send you the fucking message. Like he told me he's lit up. Like he's like, bro, he's like, I love looking up in the morning to your messages because in the middle of the night, I'll have some ideas and I'll, I'll send them to him. Right. And right. He, wake, he, he wakes up and he's like, yeah, fuck yeah, man. Like he's, he's like, yeah, let's do it. Like, this is great. Like he's all about it, you know? Yeah. That's fantastic. But, yeah. but here's something I want you to get, Shelly. Seriously, this is the last thing. Okay, there is a downside to this, okay? And honestly, I'm dealing with it right now, and it really does suck. Like, seriously, if I didn't have my organization behind me, like, I have a lot of friends and really good friends in them, and I have coaches. If I didn't have that, I'd be very depressed. You know why? Because when you're someone who moves as quickly as I do, and creating businesses, right, strategizing, right, passive income, which, by the way, all those are real, by the way. Like, no bullshit. I have five, I have one passive income business actually up and running, making money. I have five already strategized, structured, and, and done. I'm launching them every month for the next four months. I have four coaching businesses. I already have websites for flyers, funnels, and groups ready to fucking go. Like, this is fucking real. This is happening. I do all this by myself and my guy. We do everything. That's it. And we're fucking flying, getting this shit done getting testimonials in. I'm already coaching people outside of RCA. Like, I Oh, I was going to say sincerely, how are you helping yourself? Like you're coaching yeah. people. You're like coaching people to help you eventually. Well, no, no, cuz remember, 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 right? When I coach people, it's an exercise for me in mm -hmm. coaching. And look, I listen to the calls too. Actually, honestly to be honest, I only have to listen to my calls as I'm coaching you right now, honestly. I am also listening to what I'm saying and I'm seeing if it works. Mm -hmm. If you noticed, I called myself a few times, right? And I stopped or I apologized to you and I started over again. I am in, I am able to real time coach myself, myself yeah. in real time. Yeah. I could do that shit. <laughs> Most people can't, right? But here's the breakdown. This is the last thing. I really do have to go. My wife's waiting for me, okay? Is that when you reach a level like this, and seriously, like, please get this, because one day when you're like me or my level of success, you'll experience this too. And I just want to get you ready for it, okay? When you reach a level of success, okay, when you're like me, if you're like me, right? Like, you're relentless. You're like, like, literally, you're freaking insane. Literally, people call me insane. I swear to God. Like, you're so fast. You move so quickly. You talk, like, literally, I mean, literally, I have an idea. It's already in operation within like an hour or two. Like I'm that fucking quick. Like right. when you're some like people, that, Alex, some people think about things for like a year and you got it done the next day. Yeah. Fuck that bullshit. Who the hell has yeah. that fucking, you might die tomorrow. You right. might die fucking year. What's wrong with you? Seriously, right. right? Right. I mean, I mean, literally, look, I have an opportunity here, right? I have the technology. I have the tools. I know what it all looks like and what it takes to be an insane fucking performer. And I'm taking action in it. I'm doing it. Baby. I'm, I'm making it happen. But here's the breakdown, okay? This is it. When you're someone like that, you have to be prepared for that all of your networks, all of your communities, okay, all people that you've been talking to and working with before, okay, they will no longer get you. They will no longer understand you. Mm -hmm. yes. You will seriously become a turnoff. I have, by the way, a turnoff to them. You sound like a fucking raving idiot, seriously, because you are just fucking so energized, so pumped. Your results are so fucking insane. They don't even, even though you showed them proof, you're, they don't fucking believe you. Yeah, like, you're beyond fucking... their, you're beyond their comfort level. Now they're yeah, uncomfortable. Like, yeah, yeah, because you're doing, you're. Great you way know? of saying it. Yeah, right. Yeah. And not even that, right? Like, so listen, I had one of my coaches tell me this. He's like, Alex, look, you are now thinking and being like the 1% of the world. Yes. Like, yes. Right, man. And what you have to get, Alex, is that the 99%, I'm sorry, man, but they no longer, they are no longer part of your network. They don't get you. They can't help you. Like literally, they're only going to bring you down. So I'm sorry to say, but you have to start now creating new networks of other one percenters yeah. like you. You got to start finding those people, which I have been, by the way, seeking them out. And I've been doing that shit, but I'm telling you, like, it gets lonely and like kind of no, sad. No, I believe that you're either going to be around people where you're so like to me like it's contagious your energy is very contagious like i um it's it's inspired it's yeah it's inspiring but it's gonna yeah, absolutely i believe that it's you're gonna make some people very uncomfortable because that's not where they're at in life that they, they're yeah. they know they can't keep up with you well honestly seriously i think you're making this mean too much it's not i don't think it's any of those things honestly i think this shows that seriously they don't understand me 
right? They have no idea like how I'm doing what I'm doing. And honestly, I think it frightens them a little bit. Seriously. I think they're a little scared. I think they don't know what's going on. They're just like, you know what? Hey, this guy is fucking doing great. It's fantastic, but he's way out of my lane. I'm going to let him do his thing and just keep doing what I'm doing. Because you know what? That's what they do. They keep living their speed. They do things their way, which are very slow, right? Relative to someone like me. And look, I do, I share, Shelly, I share every day, like my successes because I'm trying to inspire them, right? I'm trying to like invite them. I'm like, look, join me. And some of them have, thank God, right? Thank God some right. are joining me. They're partying with me. Right. But honestly, for the overall majority of them, especially the older ones that are stuck in their ways for the last 30 years, right? For them, they can never be like me. They can never reach my level of success. So they're not even going to try. And honestly, to me, it's a fucking tragedy and very sad. Really, it is. Yeah. But that's their life. Like, that's how they feel the world is. That's how they feel they are. And it's never going to change. And seriously, it breaks my fucking heart. It really, really does. Okay, with that being said, I have to go. I'll send yes, you the recording. Well, just oh, so yeah. you know, you're, you are inspiring. So thank, I, I cannot thank, thank you, you enough for this time. Really. Yeah, well, hey, you know what? Thank yourself, not me. You're the only fucking person who replied to two group chats. I, that you I could, be on the call. Yeah, I couldn't believe no one beat me to that. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Shelly, Shelly, this is what you have to get. Seriously, last thing. These chats, human beings as a fucking species. Seriously, you really need to get this, okay? And we've done research on this too to prove this. This is where I'm getting it from, okay? Human beings by design are resigned and cynical about life. They're skeptical. They're fucking, they don't give a shit, right? So when I'm in a chat room of 200 fucking people, that are supposed to be fucking badass closers and setters. Yeah, bullshit, right? And I say, hey, I am offering to you world <laughs> fucking class. Yep. Literally, world fucking class. You can't even buy this shit. It'll be like $5,000 an hour for this shit if you're paying for it. World class for free right now. Who wants it? And no one fucking responds. You want to look at life for a second, not your life. Like, look at the world and be like, what mm-hmm. the fuck is going on here? Yep. And you listen, and you want to get this, Shelly, that most people don't give a fuck. They really don't. They don't care. They're resigned. That's why they're not here and you are. Okay. With that being said, I'll I'll email you the video um once I'm recording and listen okay. to it as many times as you want. And hey, if you want to mock again, I'm down. Let me know. Okay. Alex, thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, you too. Bye.